So once again, wrong part ordered. So I'm gonna convert it to the basic toggle switch since I don't have any rocker switches which look better and fit better and just all around is good. But this is a 7,500 and they ordered for an 8,000. So I'm gonna convert it. And I really need you guys to stop ordering key switches altogether. Keys get broke. We're back here all the time. Nobody pays attention. Breaks the key off. And we, we just need to either put a toggle switch in and call it good or put a rocker switch in or order a rocker switch instead of a key switch. But I'm going to show you how to do this really quick. So I'm just going to use, get rid of this old key switch because I ain't going to use it anyways. I'm going to throw it away. It's a waste to me. So. But I'm going to use the wires off of it so I get the length that I need. Or you can just get the toggle switch that actually has the wires. And you can attach those wires to this one. But whatever. Whatever works to get the job done so the work order isn't left open. That's the whole idea here. I'm sure most of you know how to do this. It's really simple. Creating one wire to another wire obviously uh, Obviously, supposedly, whatever you want to say, creates a stop or a breakage or slowage in the line to where it needs to go. So you got to be careful what wires you use, how thick of wires you use. You always want to use the same size wire. I'm going to probably use these... Uh, Instead of the blues, I can probably use the reds. Uh, real quick, I'll do a zoom in on these two parts, just so you know. You got like a half inch by seven inch by 14 gauge, just washers that's gonna fit around this, which is gonna cover up that hole. And it's just a basic toggle, toggle switch Hillman off the shelf. You can use the shrink wires too, but I don't smoke, so I don't have a wire. I don't have a uh, lighter, I mean. So I'm just going to use these. And to make sure you smash them down there good so they don't fall out. You can use the male, female end plugs as well. As long as everything's covered up and connected securely and doesn't want to slip out. And then I got these um, I gotta say in the male female ends. Which is gonna slide right on the ends of uh, 
a toggle switch. Makes it a little bit easier. But you get the general idea, you put these on here, pinch them down, clip your uh, female ends onto your male ends, and then you're going to run it through here. You're going to put the nut on the bottom side so this doesn't stick out too far can actually adjust where you want it to go. And you don't want it sticking out too far, but you want enough thread to grab. And then put your other washer on there. Put your little on-off sleeve on there. Just tighten everything down, make sure it's centered and covers up the hole. And then your on-off switches in there. Centered up and down, on, off. The wires will be plugged in and you put everything back together. It's pretty simple and then it can eliminate the key breakage scenario that we're always coming to these stores for because nobody's careful about it. But hopefully that'll fix a few of the issues out there.